Hey guys, Jeremy here with Simple Little Life. Welcome to uh, installment number 17 of Viewers Knives. And this one's a little bit different. Uh, I just need to introduce this video as being... Well, I'm doing this in a blizzard right now. As you can see outside, there is uh, snows completely covering my window. I've got the fireplace going. And so really, I just want to kind of introduce it because you may hear a lot of background noise. And I apologize for that, but really want to get Viewers Knives out. I missed it last week, so we're going to get this thing filmed. Uh, we've got a little uh, recording filming studio here. So let's get right into Viewers Knives. All right, let's start off this edition of Viewer Knives with this one here. This is a knife. We see a progress shot. We can see the knife that he's roughed out here and then finished off. Looks like some really nice uh, laminate wood there. A uh, nice little Kydex sheath he made for it. And this is from Blaze. It doesn't say where he's from or his age or anything like that, but really great looking knife. Says he really enjoys the channel and really likes the Viewer's Knives videos. Thank you so much for sending this in, Blaze. Okay, the next knife we're going to look at is from Gilles, and he's a 19-year-old knife maker from the UK. Uh, this is the fourth knife that he's made, and he chose some really nice-looking Damascus steel for this one. I really like the shape, very classic, looks very comfortable and incredibly useful. Uh, he says he's been making knives for about a year now, and uh, really happy with the way his skills are developing, and I would say for sure, just uh, this looks really fantastic, and uh, thank you for sharing this with us. This is really great to see. All right, the next knife we'll look at is from Kai, and he's from Germany. This is the very first knife he's ever made, and he actually made it for his uh, his eight-year-old son, which is really cool. Uh, the steel that he used is 14571V4A, and I've actually never heard of that, but really, really great looking blade. The equipment he's used is an angle grinder, a drill press, and a metal file, and sandpaper. Really nice looking blade. Kai, thank you so much for sending this, and uh, I sure hope this is the first of many knives for you. All right, the next knife is from Jorg, and he says this is the very first Bowie knife that he's ever made. Made it all by himself. I think this is a great looking blade. Jorg doesn't say where he's from, but I think this knife looks fantastic, and uh, keep up the great work, Jorg. All right, the next knife is from Jeff, and Jeff is a skilled knife maker. He's made some really great blades. He's from Montana, and he actually offered me a chance to come up and hang out with him this summer. Unfortunately, I didn't get any travel in this summer. I was just busy with house stuff and stuck around here making knives, but this is a fantastic looking knife. And Jeff, thanks so much for your offer. Uh, you know what? Maybe next summer I can take you up on that. We can get together and make some knives together, but these are just fantastic looking blades, uh, very well executed. And uh, talking with Jeff in email conversations, he's a bladesmith for many, many years, and uh, I'd really love to hang out because I'm sure he could teach me a lot of very interesting things and see the way he does stuff. But these are great looking blades, Jeff. Thank you so much for sending these in. All right, the next knives we'll look at are sent to me from JH, and he's from Denmark. These are some of the recent knives that he's made. Uh, most of them are all O1 tool steel, I do believe. And uh, just really, really great looking blades there. I like the micarta he's used. He says he's really enjoying using different micartas and experimenting with that stuff. And then also he included a couple pictures of his homemade belt grinder. So I'm going to throw those in here. I think you guys might find this interesting. That is a really cool looking belt grinder. So thank you so much for sharing this with us. All right, the next knives we're going to look at are sent to me from Zachary, and these are some great looking blades. Uh, he started blacksmithing and forging, so he's a combination of forging and stock removal to make his blades. Uh, the one with the green handles he made for a friend of his and he actually made it from a pry bar so that's a really cool use of uh, repurposed materials there. These are great looking blades, really like your attention to detail and just absolutely fantastic. Zachary, thank you so much for sending these in. All right, the next knife we'll look at is sent to me from Tony, and he's a 45-year-old knife maker from Australia. This is the very first knife he's ever made, and he made it for his son who is in the army, so that is such a really cool thing. And on top of that really interesting story, this is just a great-looking blade, very nice Kydex sheath there. Tony, keep up this fantastic work, and thank you so much for sharing this with us. All right, Handy sends us pictures of this knife, the first knife he's ever made. Uh, and actually, after he started making it, he found out that it wasn't a hardenable steel. But you know what? Nonetheless, what a great way to start. You know what? Just find what you have and let a rip start making stuff. Just fantastic looking blade. Also, his 15-year-old son is out there making knives with him. They're both kind of... He, he says they're just playing with mild steel and getting ready and stuff like that. So that is really cool. The only machinery they have right now is a drill and uh, an angle grinder. And you know what? You'll look at what you can do with just a drill and an angle grinder. Absolutely inspiring. Very, very nice looking blade handy keep on making knives and uh, you know hopefully soon you get some really good high quality steel get it hardened up and sharpened up properly but my word this is just fantastic really really great to see all right, the next knife we'll take a look at is sent to me from Josh, and he is a 36-year-old plumber from Oklahoma. This was the very first knife that he's ever made, and he said that this channel has been a huge inspiration to him, so I really appreciate hearing that. That is really, really cool. Uh, the steel he used for this one was 1 8 inch, uh, 1095, and he used black walnut for the scales. I think this knife turned out fantastic. It looks excellent, and I sure hope this is the first of many knives that you make. And uh, thank you so much for the kind words on the channel, and thank you for sharing this with us. 
Okay, we're gonna head over to Lasse. He's a 16 year old knife maker from Germany. He's been making knives for about a year now. Uh, this first knife we're gonna look at is a herb chopper that he made and he forged it from a leaf spring. And then this other French chef's knife, again, forged from a leaf spring and the handle is out of cherry. And he made it as a gift for his father's birthday. That is really, really cool to hear. Also, he's got his own YouTube channel called Not Only Wood. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Be sure you check it out. And at last, thank you so much for sharing this. This is really, really cool to see. Steven shares pictures of this, the very first knife he's ever made, and uh, he was experimenting with some micarta, and he said, I had a bit of a learning curve, and I understand that. Like, micarta is kind of a, it's a fun one to work with, but it's a little different as well. Uh, I think this knife alert looks absolutely fantastic. This turned out fantastic, Steven. Keep up the great work, and thank you for sharing this with us. All right, Carson is a 20-year-old from northern Minnesota. I'm not sure if he's getting this winter weather that we have right now, but I know their climate is very similar to ours. Uh, this is the very first knife he's ever made, and he made this out of 1095, and he used maple for the scales. I think that maple just looks fantastic. Just, uh, really nice contrast in there very beautiful wood and the fit and finish on this knife are absolutely incredible he even made his own mosaic pins and i just think this thing turned out very very well very nicely done carson Miguel is a 14 year old knife maker and he made this knife with his older brother who's 20 years old and I think that is really really cool. This is a fantastic looking blade and just kind of picture you know 14 year old and a 20 year old brother out in the garage or wherever it is they're working making this knife together. Really really awesome thought. Miguel be proud of this knife. This is fantastic and you know what awesome that your brother helped you with this and awesome that you do this as well. So keep up the great work. Alright, the next knife we're going to look at is sent to me from a 14 year old and he says that he can't quite call himself a knife maker yet because it's still just a hobby to him. Uh, Casper, I disagree. I think you are a knife maker. He made this entire knife out of mild steel. He didn't have access to tool steel or anything like that, but he said, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and make one with mild steel and that is huge. That's just a, a get it done kind of an attitude. Very, very great to see. And the only tools that he had to make this knife was a bench grinder and files and sandpaper. So when you look at that and you look at how this knife came out, especially the detail that he's put into the handle, uh, contouring it and the shape of the blade. This looks absolutely fantastic. Casper, I, th I hope you keep making knives. I certainly hope you call yourself a knife maker because this is a fantastic looking blade. Keep up the great work. All right, the next knife we'll look at is sent to me from Greg, and he's from Perth, West Australia. He's 65 years old, and these two knives, the first one here is a letter opener he made for his wife. The steel he used is Sandvik 12C27 stainless and Jahar scales with brass liners. And this other one he made for his friend with... Uh, he called it it's steel from an old Brobo blade. And again, he used Jahar scales from a tree that had fallen down. I think these are great looking knives. Greg, thank you so much for sharing this with us and uh, keep on making these great knives. Again, guys, I hope this audio wasn't too bad. It is super duper windy here, but let's just keep on trucking. All right, this next knife we'll look at is sent to me from Rick, and he is from Connecticut. Uh, he's actually got his own YouTube channel, and I will put a link to that in the description below. Uh, this first skinny knife that he made, he made from an old John Deere lawnmower blade. I think this looks really cool. I like to see people repurposing steels. It's a great way to get into the uh, the craft, and uh, just really, really neat to see. Uh, he's also got these three tactical knives. They look almost like throwing knives, really cool looking blades. And then these other ones here, he made, he forged those from a leaf spring. So that is so cool to see. Again, I'll put a link to his channel in the description below. Be sure you go check it out. And Rick, thank you so much for sharing these with us. Alright, Robin is from New Zealand and he's an 18 year old knife maker. He's sharing pictures of these knives. He says these are the best knives he's made so far and I think they look just fantastic. Uh, this first camp knife he made from a huge circular saw blade and the smaller ones were made from a bandsaw blade and they had oak handles. I think these are absolutely fantastic looking knives. Robin, thank you for sharing these with us. This next knife will look at is sent to me from the Potato Blacksmith. That is his email address, and I'd love to know the story behind that. It sounds pretty cool. Uh, this is his first knife. He said he spent over 300 bucks Canadian, but he doesn't care about that because he's proud of it, and it is super sharp. You know what? You should be proud. This is a great-looking blade. I really like that scabbard you made for it. What fantastic work. I hope you keep on making knives and keep having fun with it, and I would really love to know what Potato Blacksmith is all about. All right, Ali sends a picture of this knife, and in his email, he just says, Hey, Jeremy, this is my first knife attempt. Thank you. Well, Ali, you are welcome. This is a great-looking blade. Thank you for sending it in so we can all enjoy it. Looks like it's made from a file of some type and then some type of a wood uh, for the scales. Great-looking knife. I hope this isn't the first and last. I hope this is the first of many. Keep making knives, Ali, and thank you for sending this in. All right, that is going to wrap up this edition of Viewer's Knives. Thank you so much to everybody who sent pictures in. If you'd like to have your knife featured on this channel, just email me, jeremy at homesteadknives.com, and I will get it featured. Uh, please note, though, I, I do need it mailed to that address in order to share it. Uh, a lot of you guys are sending me pictures of your knives on Instagram, and I really do appreciate it. It's, it's a lot of fun to get these little little nuggets of inspiration throughout the day, so I really enjoy that. But if you would like it featured on this channel as part of these segments, I do need it emailed to jeremy at homesteadknives.com. That way I can organize it chronologically, feature it in the way I get it. I just have 
have no way of organizing uh, Facebook and Instagram messages like that. So if you could please email me, Jeremy at homesteadknives.com, we will get them featured. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Really, really neat to see what you guys are making. And uh, go ahead and leave comments about the favorite knives you see. There's so many great, talented makers out there. I'm honored to be able to share these guys with you and just kind of show what other people around the world are doing. It's a lot of fun. Uh, again, I apologize for the terrible audio in this video. Uh, you can see my breath right now. It's a little cool in here, but you know what? We got through this. We got her done. The computer stayed running. That's a bonus too. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Cheers.